Before I was so rudely interrupted, sorry, my wife called. I'm, I have to use my phone because I don't have a webcam, and she called while I was recording. Anyway, back to my eBay stuff. Barefoot Jerry. Now, Barefoot Jerry is a country rock band starting in the early 70s. Um, what made them different is they also had um, influences from jazz and psych as well. Uh, most country rock was either country, rock, or a mix of the two. And they actually added, had more influences added in, so they were more, a little more interesting. Um, this is their first album, which is hard to find. I used to have an album that was a combination of this one and one they released on Warner Brothers. This was out in the Capitol, actually. Um, that was released on their main label after those two, a monument. And um, I don't know what I did, but I sold it a long time ago. But luckily enough, I actually found this one, which I'd never seen before. And I got it for like three, four bucks, and this would normally be on probably for 15, 20, if not more than that. So, lucky to find that sucker. Okay, Wishbone Ash, front page news, dumbass cover. Good album so far, though. Like Wishbone Ash, I got about 11 or 12 of their albums. This one's pretty damn good. Got that for like a buck, I think, on eBay. Now this one is kind of interesting. Crowbar. I've actually got another album by them um, that's a little more bluesy, that has a, a blues harpist with them. Now this one is actually without that guy. And this is actually a Canadian... They're a Canadian band. This is a Canadian pressing. And this is on Capitol in Canada. That's got the silver cover, which is kind of cool. And... Got custom sleeve and uh, nice label there, and sleeve to go with it. Got a picture of the band, information, and the lyrics, which is also on the foil. Really nice, nice album cover and sleeve and everything. Pretty good album. Um. But one I'd never thought I'd ever come across. Once again, I got it for like three or four bucks. And I'm sure if you look look it up now, if you found one, it would be 15, 20, if not more than that. So I lucked out on that one. This is one I took a chance on. Um, usually when I buy something on eBay, I try to get at least two things from the seller so that I don't feel like I'm buying an album and paying for shipping and only getting one thing, because shipping's like four bucks. If I buy one album and I win it for three or four bucks, I feel like I'm paying eight for it. So I figured I might as well get two things. They cut, the second thing usually is cut down shipping-wise to like a dollar or something like that. And I feel like I've actually gotten, you know, two albums that are worth if you split it up. So I take a chance on this one because they didn't have a lot on this. Group called Aircraft. Uh, they're basically kind of like a new agey jazz thing, and they said that in the description, so I had an idea. But it's actually pretty good. It's on a small label, Katero. It's, it's based out of California. I mean, they look like a new age jazz group. But it's still a pretty nice album. Then I paid, like I said, a buck for it, I think, because nobody bid on it. Nobody knew what it was. Uh, okay. One of the few old ja Yes albums I didn't have, Time and Word. Um, second album, funny part of this is Mr. Howe's on the front cover, doesn't play on the record, but on the back, Peter Banks, the person who actually does play on it. Kind of weird. I actually like the import cover better. It's actually a goofy drawing of, like, naked legs. It's, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I've seen it before, but it's hard to come across. This is in really good shape. A couple bucks, that's all I got. Paid for it. This is a strange one. This is a Scorpions album. Now it's called Action. What this actually is is Lonesome Crow. It was re-released several years later on Brain. 
with a different cover and a different name for some reason, but it's the same song list. Back's pretty generic looking, but it's in real good shape, and it's not anything I would find normally, and like I said, I only paid like three bucks for it. Very few people bid on it. So, I didn't have Lonesome Crow, so at least I got a version of it. Okay. This is one of the last groupings of um, ones I bought on eBay. It's a group called Crowfoot. This is a early 70s psych rock band um, headed by a Russell DeShiel, who's gone on to do, play with other people. I don't remember who offhand. Um, this is their first album. I have their second album. And uh, this is also in really good shape. And I got this for like four bucks, I think. Another album that would be normally on there for 10, 15, something like that. Looked out on that one. Alcatraz. This is Dangerous Games. Um, I have three out of four of their albums now. There's one more I gotta pick up. This is the fourth one and last one before they split up. Guitarist on here is Danny Johnson. Well, I'm not real familiar with, but I'm sure he's played with other people. Um, back cover, record's in really good shape. A couple bucks. Now this apparently is a Canadian band that I... The only way I'm familiar with them was, if you remember, and here's one right here, in the day, labels would have sleeves with album covers of other artists on their label. Well, this is one of the albums I remember seeing on there. Never heard them, didn't know anything about them, but I remember the cover on there. It's kind of interesting, it's called Positive, Positively Human, Relatively Sane, and they're in straight down. I guess they're a Canadian hard rock band. They're produced by um, Mike Tilka, who, if you are familiar with Max Webster, the Canadian band, he was their original bass player. Uh, then he went on to producing after their second album. So I'm looking for, I haven't played this yet. Let's also get thanks to Getty Lee on here. Because this was actually, I think, released on Russia's label in Canada. So, looking forward to listening to this. I haven't played it yet. That's it for my eBay stuff. Now, the last batch is my grouping of the Psych reissue albums. Now, the website's called Vinyl.com. And it has a bunch of different stuff on there, mostly psych stuff and jazz stuff from the 50s and 60s and some 70s stuff. Um, all, all reissues, sealed stuff, and they all range from like 8 to 20 bucks. All these that I got here were in the 9 to 12 range. Starting December's Children, um, a mainstream reissue. The coolest thing about the name mainstream reissues, they use the real label, so it almost looks like you're buying an old album in brand new shape. Well, the interesting thing about this band, now I've got several bands where there's a link where the one band will have members that I've come to find out weren't a band that I have from a newer album that was a totally different group. But in this case, this is one of them. There's two guitar players brothers named Craig Balzer and Bruce Balzer that are on this album that's from like 69 or whatever. Uh, this is a pretty good album. Um, psych rock, not real heavy, kind of in between. They have a female singer, but they also have the other guys singing good harmonies. Um, decent stuff. Now, 1980, the year before MTV, there was a show called Pop Clips that was on cable. I think it was on Nickelodeon. It was a precursor to MTV. Now, they had maybe 30 or 40 videos total. And they just kept repeating them. Well, there was one video by a group called American Noise. It's actually a really good rock tune called Running Through the Night, which is on this album. It's the only album they put out. The guitar players on there are the two guys on this album. So, like, 11, 12 years later, they got another chance. Of course, they only released one album. They only released one album. But, you know, they had another shot. So that's kind of interesting that it worked out that way. And, uh, so that's that. Now this is one, and of course, 
familiar with, Amboy Dukes, the Tech Agent. This is one that I didn't have. Uh, I still need the first album, which I rarely ever see for anything other than 40, 50 bucks. Um, Faithful Reissue. Also, interestingly enough, on Red to Vinyl, which is kind of cool. I don't have a boatload of colored vinyl, but I do have some. Of course, it's got the mainstream label and the cover's authentic. And it's nice and shiny. I like it shiny like that. And this is a really good album. This one is actually not a psych album. This is from the mid-60s, and this is, of course, the Bobby Fuller 4. And their one big hit, I Fought the Law. This is another uh, really cool reissue, and this is like really good mid-60s, garagey, you know, rock. And of course everybody knows I Fought the Law, so it's kind of in that same vein. This actually has a label just on the original, like just on the original. I actually have the 45 of I Fought the Law. The label's the same, so that's really cool. It covers a nice reproduction, front and back. Really cool. Next one's a band called Wilkinson Tricycle that I've seen on eBay and a bunch of other places and never really heard them much until I looked on YouTube and found a couple songs. Thought they were pretty good. Decided to buy it. Chance, and it's pretty good. It's not heavy psych, it's kind of in between, but it's, they're good songs, the vocals are good on them. And uh, so it's cool I picked that up. Now this one is a group that put out, I guess, three albums. They're a little lighter on the psych side, a little moodier, folkier, but a little spacier too. But uh, this is a good album. It's by the Mandrake Memorial. It's called Medium. Now this is a reissue. I guess the original, you see where the line is here? I guess the original opened like this. And this one obviously doesn't. Yeah. It's cool and all, but it's got the inner sleeve, so I'm sure it's got everything it had in the middle. And the other cool thing is it's got the poppy label, just like on the original. So I, I like them. It's cool when they do that. They make it look almost like you were buying it back in 68 or whatever. Even though it's a little beefed up and a little more modern, it's still got most of the stuff it had in the original. Last one I got for you from that group is The Wizards of Kansas. Now I've read about this one, heard good things, checked a couple songs out, liked them. So I took a chance on this one. There's the back. It's got the real cover. I don't know if it's a gatefold or not. I have a feeling it might be. I don't know if anybody knows. Anyway, this one doesn't, but the other cool thing, it's got the old Mercury label on there. So, that's all my recent vinyl. Um, I may do a CD one because I've got a bunch of CDs that I've got. Um, and I do believe I've got a little package coming from uh, Mr. Waters. And I'll show that when that shows up and maybe I'll throw some of those CDs in with it. Since I believe there's CDs anyway that he's sending me. So, I'm going to sign off for now. And everybody take care and a good night. And I'll see you soon. Bye.